Alright guys, welcome to another video. Sorry I have not uploaded in a long time. You know, life just gets in the way and things like that. But this video, you know, the season is creeping up on us. It's a couple months away. Slowly but surely it'll be here. And we'll be back out on the water here on in the uh, northeast. Um, this video is one that I feel will help a lot of people. It is going, learning how to go through the locks in Shinnecock, which is something people have trouble with and that I've witnessed people have trouble with. Uh, even I experienced trouble with it in the beginning, as a matter of fact. Um, this, these locks are going from Shinnecock Bay into the Peconic Bay. And the reason they have these locks is for water rushing, from bay to bay when tides change and things like that and it helps prevent erosion but uh do not do not quote me on that one uh this is us going through shinnecock inlet right now after having an amazing day uh not fishing unfortunately but we saw like a lot of wonderful things uh that you'll see in the next upcoming videos and that's it hope you enjoy Alright, so there on my phone, I'm looking at Navionics, which is a wonderful app that you could use for boating. Uh, you could see a variety of different things, depth, structure, uh, and different stuff like that. I'm not sponsored by it, unfortunately. I hope that I will be in the future, but that's what I'm using here. And you can see when I'm looking on the screen, my whole phone is red which means that it's extremely shallow in here and I always recommend being careful in the Shinnecock, in Shinnecock Bay because at low tide especially, it gets filled up with sand and it can pose a danger. So watch out for that. at the uh, Shinnecock Bay and here's actually an old picture of the Shinnecock Canal when it was first being built or in its earlier stages it was originally made in 1826 um, there was a problem with the bay marine life was dying and specifically Holmes Hutchinson Hutchinson yes the engineer who created it um, saw a need to build it because it needed ocean access and as we said already the marine life was dying and that's why it was built I'm the wrong side. and it's still in use today let's go on the right side there are four oh, boats in here you see what they tied off yeah there's four four boats in here so here you can see we are approaching the canal um, I don't know if you can see it's a well, little bit in the distance, the right but there's side, a green light. You I'm always want to keep your distance if there's a red the light and there are switch already boats um, and yeah, the water level is changing. So mm -hmm. I made a couple comments that there are already four boats in here, which is a little bit crowded. Um, so we were just being a little bit cautious because it's usually not like this. So we decided to go on the empty space on the right towards the blue building and um, that's where we're going make sure you do not go when there is a red light on these traffic lights because then you just cause an array of problems and a mess just happens so when it's green just go through the gates are gonna be open and um, yeah we're just gonna Ready? pull in here gonna tie off, okay? and I also recommend having 
bumpers yeah. for this yep, I got because you. you don't want your boat rubbing against the um, ocean life. Not only does it damage your boat, but it, I got it. Don't worry. damages the ocean life. So you tie off here on the sides. You want to make sure to not ram your boat against the side, which I think I do here. This was quite a while ago. Oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, that was a little bit of a mistake on my part. Yeah, you know, we all, we all make mistakes, it happens. But uh, we end up tying off, we're leveling out the boat, the current is extremely strong in here. So, <clears throat> so you want to make sure everything is secure. I'll hold this. I'll hold it. We smash the thing, don't worry, relax. So here you can see the doors have actually closed behind us and now we are locked in, which is where the term lock comes from. And now they're either going to raise or lower the water in order to equal it with the Peconic, where which we will be entering. Um, keep an eye on the sides and the barnacles on the sides of the wood to see whether they're going to increase the amount of water that's in here or they're going to decrease it. My camera's good? Okay. Alright. Bro, <laughs> sex. Okay. They're draining water out of here. As you can see, the water is starting to decrease a little bit and soon we'll see the lock gates open. The most important thing you want to do is be patient here. Do not just zoom out of the lock or we else you'll call, cause a lot of uh, issues. And you could really one. see here in this clip how much the water level has actually dropped out. So it's about two to three feet, which is pretty significant. The locks are opening and make sure you let everyone go out one by one and you don't just untie and zoom past. If you do this, it's gonna <laughs> piss off a lot of people and it's not gonna put you in a good situation. Um, you also wanna have courtesy and respect for the other boaters and that's just a rule. All right, so here we are untying. Everyone is left, we're last in line and we're just pushing off. We don't wanna damage the boat any more than I already did. Um, just put it in gear. Don't even increase the throttle the slightest. Um, you just want to get out of here without any wake. And that's about it. You just exit the lock. Yeah. So that was our first, uh, lock drop experience, right? You see the, you see all the crabs in here? Huh? There's so many crabs in here that I saw. Yeah, let me take, uh, get your phone ready. My phone's ready. Oh, it is. So it's straight, straight run to New Suffolk. And as you hear there, we are going straight across the bay to New Suffolk. It's about a, I want to say, 20-minute ride going about 20 30 miles an hour in uh, calm to medium conditions I mean it doesn't get too hairy in the bay anyway this far back And this is us on the Peconic Bay side of the inlet. Um, and that's about it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you for watching.